but can they crack this Cloud9 defense? Uh, Cloud9's Hollywood defense is really, really good. I would love to see them bust out Double Builder, though they've been shying away from it lately. I don't think we're going to see it here either, as, yeah, everyone's queued up on just their standard heroes. No Torb, no Sim, no more Cloud9 Double Builder, which is was so popular for a while from them. It won them a lot of, shut out a lot of teams on point one, actually. It was really hard to take point one Hollywood against Cloud9. Does the really interesting go thing... Go ahead. I was going to say, the interesting thing, too, about uh, the double builder defense, uh, though you don't see as much anymore, is that uh, the time to get point A is decreased on effectively every map. Instead of five minutes, it's four minutes. And that makes point A defenses a little bit more likely. And in general, the common complaint was that there's just a little bit too much time for offenses in general on payload. So, you know, by decreasing that time, you might see defensive wins a little bit more often, even at the highest levels of comp. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely uh, interesting what we're seeing here just out of defense. It's mostly, it, it's just super standard. Debit's going to be on Reinhardt. Kai Kai is going to play Zarya defensively, which is a little bit different. You don't always see her on defense. Reaper will play that 76, holding down the cafe. Grego will be on Lucio Shore 4 on Reaper. And of course, Adam on Mercy. All right, meanwhile, taking a look here at this offense coming out from the side of Splice. Reminder, uh, Sickness is subbing in for Steel. Here today, it's going to be Papa Smurf on the Reinhardt, Kozen on Mercy, Flame on the Reaper, Pure on Lucio, Clockwork on the Pharah, and Sickness going to be on the 76. So, pretty standard offense coming out here from the, the side of Splice. See if it pays off as they go up against this uh, Juggernaut of defense coming out from C9. Yeah, they're just going to sit up here and poke pretty early on, try to get some damage in up front, and then retreat a little bit. Really, they just want to hang out behind the car, even that might be a little too far forward for them. This is kind of how Hollywood starts. Just the poke battles, fire strikes going back and forth. Used to be Symmetra orbs going back and forth. Uh, gone are those days. There's a point where both teams would run Symmetra, but those days are very far behind us. And here comes Splice, looking for the early picks. Uh, Clockwork not going in for the cafe, instead going up here to the left. Instead, Kai Kai, though, getting first kill. Papa Smurf going back in turn. Two kills, though, in favor of C9 as they're starting to push this offense back. The offense was not able to get the picks on the cafe that they're looking for. And now they just, they're stuck struggling a little bit. They're not really able to overpower the defense. They need to wait for respawns. Now they just kind of want to back off and not feed up too much ult. Yeah, I mean, they knew that fight was not going to go in their favor. Papa Smurf's been hitting a ton of chip damage, though, on his Reinhardt, so this Earthshatter is about to be ready. That could be a huge boon for their fight. Their guard coming around the backside is Flame on this Reaper. He gets caught out. He's going to get chased and killed. Bad. Yeah, Flame goes down. Sure, 4 is able to get right on him. Clockwork, though, coming in over the top, takes out Grego. It's still 5v5. The offense has an opportunity. Down goes Kai Kai as Clockwork again doing work, but here comes Reaver off the flank. Tack Visor at the ready. Everyone was getting res though, so he wasn't able to get as much value from that as he's looking for. Clockwork is back up, just getting absolutely drilled by Reaver right now. Not down just yet, and everyone going knocked down. Papa Smurf knocking down C9, Debit knocking down Splice, but Clockwork over the top with the barrage, opening things up, and Splice is still fighting here, Hex. They should be totally fine. It's just Kai Kai. Oh god, what happened? The Graviton into 76. This is a brawl right now. Sickness comes in for a double kill of his own. Both teams throwing everything they have at each other. And Splice starting to get the edge here, Hex. Yeah, I thought they were fine. The Graviton was like against three, but I didn't see Reaper there. They had the shield up. He can't cover both angles. It's, this is a sustained fight. If Splice can win this, they're going to prove me wrong. They generally struggle in sustained fights. Defense gets back in, they drop the beat, they're getting right into it. Flame and Devon trying off, both Mercy's biting the dust. Heroes will die right now because Mercy's not here to res them up. As Flame and Papa Smurf going off, here comes Clockwork from the flank, able to take out Kai Kai. And just like that, Splice overpowering C9, taking the first point, and that wasn't bad. No, not at all. Adam died a couple times in that fight where I thought he maybe could have gotten out of it. They were just relying on that res, especially the last one as he had it as Kozen didn't, but they were able to grab that point. And now they're in a decent position as well with Clockwork on this Pharaoh. They take first root. Clockwork oh, just beautiful double mid air coming from Clockwork sends Sure4 to the spawn room. And where has this clockwork been all this time, Hex? I mean, he just goes down the river there, but he's been having himself a series thus far. I, I'm actually most impressed he's doing it on Farah too. We know he's a hit scan expert god, whatever you want to call him, but the, his Farah play, this first Hollywood, has been impressive. It's been super good. There's no other way to say it, and it's been great here thus far. 
Defense of C9, though, is re-establishing. They do have the rooftop. Uh, Splice loses perhaps their moment for a little bit of extra momentum, but... Man, this has been exciting here thus far. Let's see if Splice can keep up the momentum. Clockwork does have Barrage at the right. Sickness has Tac Visor. And they have options for getting in on the C9 defense, although the C9 defense also pretty loaded when it comes to alts. Yeah, they're just... They're coordinated now. They're going to go for the low push here. Papa Smurfs in front of the cart. It's going to be interesting to see how they choose to initiate this. The really only good high ground initiation is going to be Clockwork, but you don't necessarily want to jump into a team waiting for you. I need healing. Yes, come Clockwork on. right now looking to get in, not able to get the kill just yet. Uh, lose a bit of elevation, and Reaver has him in his sights. Tech Visor coming out from Reaver now, as Reaver looking to just move in. The deep offense a uh, little bit scattered, they have to back off, look for cover and sickness. About to get gunned down right here. Still though, the offense doing well. Flame was able to get two kills in the back line. Everyone's sort of split. We have fights going on everywhere. And here comes Flame, Death Blossom out the right. He gets booped and bopped all around. As sure for right now, coming in over the top of the barrage doesn't get a whole lot, and Hex, this fight is taking place everywhere at the moment. Yeah, Pure's backing out. Pure and Papa Smurf are trying to back out. I actually would not have mind if they just try to get a little more push on the cart. It is partially through the, the overpass here, so it means they don't necessarily have to take roofs to complete this map. It's so crucial to get through this area that you don't have to take the high ground. They can take a different angle and kind of ignore the top and go towards the Pioneer Hotel instead. Yeah, every so ult was going. used from nearly both sides there, as Clockwork's going to have his up, and then Earth Shatter's down for Debit. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You don't have to go the other way. They can come around this side. Look at Clockwork. He's going to go right up, go for Elevation, go for the immediate brush here. Not able to get it, though. Didn't like what he's seeing. Winston had him cut off. And now he's away, but he's going to get knocked right down by Debit. The big hammer coming in. Sets up C9 for at least one kill. Make it two. Cozen goes down the back. There will be no res. And off of the hammer of Debit, C9 feasting in this team fight. Yeah, Pure's kind of stalling out the card a little bit. He dies. He shook. Actually, just tried to die earlier. Papa Smurf does die as well, so that's going to be a complete reset on the offense. But they are starting to stockpile ultimates here. Pure's going to have Sounder. They almost have Death Blossom. Rez is going to be up. Sickness is so close, too. It's kind of a moment where I'd agree with our friend Slasher. They should wait and just hit all five at once. Completely agree right now, but you look at Sherfor, he's just looking to poke in, not letting the offense really set up the way they want to at all. And C9, they have to hold this for about a minute. They have a real chance at a mid map hold here. And Sherfor oh, 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 oh. going to go down, he pushes his luck too far, and I'm not even sure if Adam's going to be able to res him back there. You take a look where Adam is, Adam's not going to be able to res him. Both teams are trading out though, we were able to take out Clockwork. Kozen's going to have to res here in a moment. Heroes never die. Yeah, and he did get Sherfor up. He got Sherfor the res. He went just deep enough. And Sherfor off the res takes out Sickness. Goes down himself in turn. Very bloody here between both teams. Clockwork looking again at Adam. Searching for that mercy. Not able to land the rocket. No more supports here for Splice. This is three up. They're kind of just trying to brawl back and forth. Kai Kai and Reaver combined to put an end to that dream. One last push here for Splice. That's it. My that's the, that's the map. It's it all comes down huh. to this. They've got Earth Shadow. They got Barrage. They have Tac Visor. They're not gonna have Res though. A lot here is gonna be dependent here on Clockwork and Sickness. Uh, normally, I'd say a lot is dependent on the Reinhardt, but the way C9 is positioning, I don't think Papa Smurf is gonna get a great Earth Shadow opportunity. You never know what could happen. Maybe Clockwork can knock them off the building here, but now he's gonna have to fight Sure for here in this fair battle, win it, and go from there. Sickness with the attack visor comes off the flank, might not even have to win the fair battle outright with this sort of flanking going on as Grego goes down very early in the fight. Sure for though, still alive. Adam going to bring Grego back into the fight. And Kozen is down next, so there will be no rest for the offense. So this C9's playing around this offense pretty well as Clockwork gets shot in the face. Sure for getting the double kill, and that is going to be a hold right before second for C9. Yeah, they cut him in half. Uh, short four and Adam just on the combo decided they would let Clockwork go wherever he wanted to go and then stop the Mercy and the supports from being able to reinforce them. So in the back lines, it was just Mercy, just Lucio and against the combo. They just did not let them go with the rest of their team pushing the cart. Completely cut him in half, cleaned him up, and then there was only two people up on the cart, but two against four or five, they got cleaned up as well. So just really nice positioning there from Shore for knowing that like Clockwork wants me to chase him, he wants to go fight him. I would rather just kill their supports. I'm gonna stay back here. And that's exactly what he did. So just as note with the newest patch, uh, we can do distance here in payload. So all C9 has to do to win this map and go up two maps to zero in the series is simply push right here. They don't have to get to last. They don't even have to get the second. They just need to bring the cart as far as Splice did. And this is a pretty obtainable goal here, Hex. 
Yeah, I mean, it's it's close to the second cap, uh, close enough, as it were. So I think the best option for Splice, I mean, it's always a great option, is try to shut them down on first point. But we'll see what they have here on defense to do it. <clears throat> They're running pretty standard defense as well. No no, um, no builders either, no Symmetra, no Torb. It's just going to be Clockwork on Farah, Flame on Reaper. Papa Smurf on Reinhardt Pure is going to switch off now from that Lucio onto Roadhog. Kozen will be playing the solo support then in Mercy, and Sickness will play Soldier 76. Pretty standard defense coming out, and again here, I'd say the best chance for Splice is just have the full point A hold. For C9, as long as they get past point A, they have a pretty clear shot to the next point. Not guaranteed, but it would be very likely that they would complete it out. And looking at that C9 team, it's going to be sure for here in the Farah. Debit on the Reinhardt, Adam on Mercy, Reaver on Widowmaker, Kaikai Kai on the Roadhog, and Grego going to round things out here on the Lucio. Just thinking about it now, I think Splice has nearly never completed second point on Hollywood. They always get to just about where they push it. It's kind of a trend for them. They really struggle to lock out that map because, again, you need a sustained fight to be able to get in there. It's so far away from your spawn that I think they still struggle in kind of keeping fights alive very long. So we do have Sickness here in the cafe. We'll see if Sherford sure goes in to blitz the cafe in just a moment. For now, he's just going to tempt the poke here on the outside. As Reaver able to take out Clockwork, the offensive Widowmaker, finding his mark. And now, 65, this is a huge opportunity for C9. They can be a lot more aggressive off that pick. Defense is down a huge engine of damage. And look at how aggressive C9 is being right now. They're coming in from all sides. They have people on the high ground, Debit on the ground, and they should be pushing this at this moment. However, Grego got a little bit aggro, did get taken out by Flame. Flame going down though, and here comes C9 coming in from the front, coming in from the flank. Clockwork back in the fight and able to turn things back in their favor. Yeah, Reaver does make an appearance in the kill feed though as he takes down Sickness. Clockwork then answers that immediately. They are going to res out of this, but I don't think they got Reaver on that res. Clockwork with the big shots from downtown, able to take out Adam. Sure for responding in kind, but I guess I think C9 messed up there. I think C9 could have been a lot more aggro after they got the pick on Farah. They waited way too long. They gave Clockwork a chance to get back into the fight, and it was a mistake. Well, oh, infrared sight is up for Reaver, so we'll see if he can get some picks now that he can see through walls. Yeah, Devon's looking great here right now, and if they wait any longer, they're going to be going into a defense that's just chock full of ultimate abilities. Sure, for just landing shot after shot right now into the Reinhardt shield, waiting for the rest of his team to get forward here. Devon about to have Earth Shatter, so once this goes down, I think they're just going to go for the Earth Shatter, but here comes Sure, for anyways, it goes for the Rob Barrage, takes out two, and this might be all C9 needs to get through here, but Flame countering with the triple kill, Death Blossom being the equalizer, takes out Debit, makes it a 4k, and just like that, Splice going to hang on just when the odds were looking grim. I think Flame loves playing defense on Hollywood because now it's the Reaper and he just went ham, but we've seen him actually destroy people on Symmetra uh, with his actual attack on Symmetra on this map too. I think it's his, his best map, he just must really like the terrain, the geography, and his drop downs on it. Enemy contact. Oddly enough, Symmetra plays very similar to Reaper in some situations. I gotta say, by the way, Splice is completely loaded for barrier. They have just about every ult they need. They're gonna have to deal with the sound barrier, so C9 command off that sound barrier. Getting knocked right back by Whole Hog, but damn it! The flanking Earth Shatter knocking down two, sending Reinhardt on a ride. Down goes Papa Smurf. Three kills here for the side of C9, but Kozen still in there, able to res up the Fallen. We'll see if they can do anything with this. Clockwork has already used Barrage in this fight, not to a whole lot of effects. Gets taken out, and C9 finally, I think, getting the fight they were looking for here, Hex. Yes, yeah, super early res came out just to bring Reaper back alive, who had just been taken down, but he had Pulse Bomb up too. They want to be able to roll this momentum-wise into the next, uh, so that's why you see that res early on. They want to go full six to try to take this rooftop early, but Clockwork's already up top. Papa Smurf's going to be on the slow ride up top too. They are going to establish on second roof. So time-wise, three minutes and 40 seconds just to get to the final point here, which is a little bit earlier than the second point. Reaver uh, looking again in the back line, adding on a little bit of extra momentum. Adam down. Clockwork, though, got on the Adam, so defense here should be able to hold for a little bit longer. Offense is not going to have this. A big rocket. Clockwork with the double kill in the end. Is he going to get sure for as well? Sure for in deep trouble here. Clockwork looking for that flick rocket. Not able to get it, but man win or lose here Spl for splice clockwork has had a great series thus far it's yeah it's kind of what we expected he's been the bright spot but he's exceeding even my expectations for clockwork which are high 
I mean, regardless, they're still pushing the card here. Deb has just been on the one-man push for a while now. Despite all those kills early on, they've already got it uh, mostly through the underpass now, which changes where they can attack from. Sure, for clearing the roof right now, making Winston use his leap to get back up, but actually almost going down that Winston had six HP. It is going to live here at least for a little bit as Kai Kai now in the back goes for Death Blossom, taking out Papa Smurf, forces out the res here from the defense, so res has been used. Adam's still holding on to his res for the offense, and look at Clockwork now, hunting in the back, beautiful movement to get to the back. Sure for though, not caring on the other side of the battlefield, takes out both Kozen and Papa Smurf. Three kills here for C9 and Hex, they are getting awfully close to that yellow square. They are extremely close to finishing this off. Now, Pure is alive, he might have sound very up for this last dish fight. He dies late. I don't even know if they're going to have anyone to delay this. Sickness is out there. They do get the Reinhardt here. It's going to be really dicey. The sound bearer comes in. The Reaver able to get an extra pick up towards the end. This should be C9 as they get the three kills at the end. They're going to cap this out and now up two maps to nothing over Splice. I think Splice has nightmares about offense on Hollywood. They just have never gotten that second point. I don't think I've ever seen them take that second point. Flames, nice 3k there. Good stuff coming up from Flame. So it is Splice's map pick. We'll see where they want to go to next. Um, I, I, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think they're they're better than the last time we saw them, Splice, or is it just Clockwork playing really, really?